hello everyone. I didn't see you there. I was reading The Fault in Our Stars. I really wasn't. I was vlog, starting a vlog. It came um, yesterday, which I was like really met. I was like Tuesday, Wednesday. I was like, oh, where is my book? And then I got it. And then there were two books in it, which I forgot I'd ordered two copies, but I did. So I need to ship one to my sister. Neither of them have hankler fishes. Um, but I got a green, meh, I got a green J Scribble. It will go with me many places. I've officially read the first three chapters so far, and it has probably one of the greatest beginnings of any book I've ever read ever in the world. I have one complaint already. This is what I, I spend an abnormal amount of my time, um, overanalyzing Hank and John's stuff. Like, I've posted videos before of me complaining about one minute line of Hank's, of one of Hank's songs, but my, my one minute complaint so far is that Hazel does not sound like a 17-year-old girl. Okay. There's one part, it's in the first chapter, so I'm allowed to say that it exists. Where Hazel goes off on this whole thing about oblivion. And she says, there will come a time when all of us are dead. All of us. There will come a time when there are no human beings remaining to remember that anyone ever existed or that our species ever did anything. There will be no one left to remember Aristotle or Cleopatra, let alone you. Everything that we did and built and wrote and thought and discovered will be forgotten and all of this will have been for naught. Maybe that would... Maybe that time is coming soon, and maybe it is millions of years away. But even if we survive the collapse of our sun, we will not survive forever. There will come, there will, there was a time before organisms experienced consciousness, and there will be a time after. And if the inevitability of human oblivion worries you, I encourage you to ignore it. God knows that's what everyone else does. The whole speech, okay, it's a nice little speech. But it sounds like the opening for a Lord of the Rings knockoff. Like, if I'm not reading it in my teenage girl voice, which is my normal voice, um, if I read it in my, um, voiceover voice, there will come a time when all of us are dead. All of us. But one man will stand against the forces of oblivion and darkness. It just doesn't... Hazel just doesn't sound like a teenage girl. So that's my little nitpick. But other than that, so far, really good book. I'm kind of astonished at some of the people who have read it and already written songs about it. I've got some stuff I'm going to talk about soonish. I'm going to try to start vlogging every day again. Every day. See you all soon. And bye!